defense in the country. Arizona number three in kickoff return yardage. And they try the onside kick, and they've got it! But I think it didn't go 10. No, it did. Glenn, Thursday afternoon at practice, and yesterday at practice, we stood there and watched them practice this onside kick 10, 20, probably 30 times. Well, we take a look at it. It's a beautifully executed kick. He comes at the ball full speed, fooling the front line of the defense. Easily recovered and a great job. You had to have been aware. Why would Washington State defer and give Arizona's great offense the ball to start? Great job by Washington State. Three sophomore out of Fresno, California. Spent his early days in Tucson going to the Arizona football games. And he'll put it up for the first time. The simple pass complete to Carstetter. His favorite receiver with his 34th catch of the year. You're going to get a look at Carstetter right there. Big kid coming up. It's just an easy slant into the void. Adam Hall, the safety stepping up, doesn't get there in time. They're already a lot of back time football still to be played. This is a big play on fourth down. Just about two. Two keeps it. He's got the first down. James Montgomery comes out of the backfield for his seventh reception of the year. Protecting the quarterback on the roll to his right. Montgomery sneaks right through and it's wide open for him. Great job. You've got a young quarterback in a big situation. Give it C.J. Mazel, who is out. It'll be interesting to see how they respond. Grigsby stacked up. You mentioned C.J. Mizell, the true freshman out of Tallahassee, Florida. Just moments before this game got underway, we were told he has been suspended for the team and will not play tonight because of violation of team rules. No, even had a 33-yard touchdown run. Third down and about one. Foles looks left, getting some happy feet. He'll go down. Almost lost the football. Barely held out as he was being stripped from the side by Coyman. Well, this is just, this is a sack because the secondary covered well. Yeah. If you take a look right there, boy, he's happy. There's another example of it. Now we see that four wide receivers set again. Montgomery, little hole over the left side. Up over the 35 to the 39-yard line. This is one of the great stories in college football because last year this young man had an acute compartment syndrome of his leg. They thought at one point when they were going to amputate his leg. Now, he didn't know if he'd ever walk regularly again. They said, you're going to walk with a limp and you're not going to play football, and now this young man is back. The senior out of Rancho Cordova, California. Tools pass, juggled. They call it a completion up to about the 45-yard line. Montgomery had to go surgery. All of a sudden, he got kicked in the SMU game at extreme pain. They finally called the trainers and the doctors. They rushed him into surgery. That is the scar on his leg. They said if he would have waited 30 minutes, the blood clot could have been for Reed already this year. He's having an outstanding season. Third down and about 11. Tool's going to have to put it up. Down the middle. First down, Cougars. Daniel Blackledge. As you're going to look here, Adam Hall in coverage, the safety. You're going to watch how much space is between him and Blackledge. As a safety, when the man makes the cut, you have to close ground. There's a huge window. That guys look unbelievable, let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you very little. <laughs> Second down. This time, the Cougar defense stands tall. That's how you do it. No game. You see what they've done on the season, however. First and goal from the one. Nothing. Nice hit. Buchanan again coming up from that strong safety spot. This young man has nine tackles already in the ballgame. What Buchanan number of weeks ago. Loss of one on the play. Antolin puts his head down and he does not get in. And again, it is Deo Buchanan. The coach rhythm. Up again, takes the draw, and he's going to be done. 
He's going to be sacked at the 28 yard line by Travis Long. His second sack of the night. And only the 13th given up this year by that offensive line of Arizona. And what they're doing is getting Travis Long one on one against the guards. This time it's on Conan Amatuanai. He comes up, gets a good swipe to the outside, and he's gone. They're bringing pressure on the outside. That was Myron Beck, the outside back, and pressure. That's a mismatch. Now, Coleman on, on the field now, he took his eyes off it just for a second because he was watching Beck. He stopped, and he is going to be dropped again. That may be the best one-two defensive play Washington State has had this year. And there's a problem when you have a young quarterback. He's got one-on-one -on -one pass protection to his right with a running back, Grigsby. He cannot roll to his left in that case because you know it will break down. He didn't notice that. He didn't understand that he had to look for it. The Tyree Toomer. Loss of 15 on the last two plays. Third down and 25. They look for the little bubble screen and they're not going to get anything. In fact, they may lose another yard. Toomer with a nice play from that free safety spot. Great job by the defensive line there. Everybody understanding what it was, reading it, and dropping it into the zone to be there in case of a screen. Four seconds left. One timeout left for Arizona. Here comes the blitz, and Scott is going to be dropped back at the 32-yard line. Uh, zero timeouts, Ron. Be right. very careful. Antolin comes out of the backfield. And he overthrows him, and it's picked off at the 13-yard line. Casey Locker, whose cousin is Jake Locker, the quarterback of Washington, with his first collegiate interception. That's the inexperience of Matt Scott, not understanding, take the ball and go. He faces pressure. He's got an outlet. Antoine running. Now, see, he doesn't need to throw that pass. He has plenty of time to get... To run, get the first down. Scott very upset about it right there. For Reed Forrest, who's done a nice job. And the snap is fumbled, and Arizona will have it. Inside the 10-yard line. Paul Wolf said immature. They're young. They're immature. They're inconsistent. This is the type of play a young, immature, inconsistent play a team makes. First off, bobbling the snap. Second off, not not at least trying to grab it and give it a punt. And third, not even recovering. Players, and you know, head coach told us that he was going to spend a lot of time with the headset off back here, really coaching the guys up as the game is going. And despite the scoreboard, they are still doing that, looking for that one turnover, talking about not giving up. And that's what Washington State is trying to do, keep the energy alive despite the scoreboard. Absolutely. Brooks Reed on this jump off or get the play off. Tool is scrambling for his life, looks for a block, crosses the 15 up to the 20 to the 22 yard line. That'll be a first out. That kind of goes what Lewis is talking about. There you go. There's that spark. There's that play. A, a guy that thinks, you know, he's he's young, but he knows he's the leader. Jeff Tool, look at he's gonna get some pressure. And never underestimate that little block by Montgomery out there to spring him. Because Brooks Reed is in contain. You get a little block, you spring Jeff Tool, and there's a guy that's got some fire in his Look at him. And Tool goes back to work. The deep out pattern is going to be caught. They say he got it at the 38-yard line. Daniel Blackledge. Nice reception, his second of the night. Well, how about Tool here? He's going to step back, set in there. He's going to get himself a little hit. Let me take a look, see this catch out here. Great job by Blackledge reaching out. And they're probably going to the rule that. play is under further review. <laughs> Well, I'm going to rule that incomplete. It certainly looked like it bounced. You look at the catch again, but then you have plays like this. Yeah, and you know, he's, it, it, it certainly appears the ball is pressed against the ground. That's how he's he's catching the ball, but it's got to be overturned. It's got to be enough to overturn it. You know, good layout, though. Pretty good layout. Yeah, that, he's the, the further review. The ruling on the field stands. Oh, you, I'm, I'm oh. Hey, you got to know. Uh, you you know, got to know for working again. I, I did. <laughs> Or I should say, most of the time in long distance. There's only only rushes four. Tools got some time over the middle. Passes caught inside the 30-yard line. Nice job, Gino Simone. His first reception.
interception tonight, the seventh of the year. Well, protection is good. That gives him time to allow the routes downfield to develop, and that's just a... Arizona showing blitz, and here they come. Tula gets rid of it, goes for the six. Incomplete. That's a case of uh, what alligator arms. Yeah, that's alligator arms. When when he thought he was going to get blasted by the safety, the ball hung up. He had to try to gain ground back in inside the play. Watch his arms come in here. He's going to see this ball. He sees the safety and he pulls it in. Oh, Daniel Blackledge. You don't want to go turtle when you know you're going to get hit. Yeah, you know, it's the old saying you're going to get hit anyway. Take the shot. But I think. Seven for the Wildcats. Here comes Washington State on the blitz. Scott is down. At the 20-yard line, Myron Beck, he's got two sacks for Washington State. He's come in, he's had two holding calls, but he's done a good job against Brooks Reed so far, replacing the starting left tackle. Here sees the pocket collapse, but he gets away. He's got the first down and shows a burst of speed. It's down to the 36-yard line after from the right side, Ricky Elmore. Or excuse me, DeAndre Reed. But he does a great job. That's the tool we thought we like calls the ordinary one, leading 45-0, and his little brother also pitching the shutout. Tool's pass is complete. To Simone, his second reception. And we've got another player down at the 45-yard line. Guys that actually make it. On third down and 10, Tool looks over the middle. Pass caught. Touchdown, Cougars. Marquise Wilson. Well, it sure did. Marcus Wilson is going to come clear right over the top. What they did is they run, they run a post from the inside slot, and a, then a, a little bit of a dig right there for Marcus Wilson. Just a well-designed play. Credit Tool with a great arm, great throw. On first and ten, they run a little reverse to Cobb. Nice job by that Cougar defense. It'll be about a three-yard loss. To begin the fourth, to begin the fourth. Trump in motion, sets up right side. Antolin, hit behind the line. Reaches forward, and I don't think he got it, but marking it short. So Kobe Kafusi from that weak side linebacker spot. What a job by the redshirt freshman. Well, here's a great look at it. And just watch the guard pull, and then watch color in the hole. That's your backside backer coming through the inside gap. This is gap speed. That means everybody has to take the inside gap. Someone missed a block. Kafusi split. Arizona only with 300. Here comes a halfback pass. Intercepted, no drop. Brooks Reed right in his hands. Tool was waiting for him, but Brooks was in between him. Brooks Reed did a great job of reading this play. And Brooks Reed last week told us how much he yeah. wanted an interception. Here's the replay. Montgomery's got to be a little smarter than this. He's got to see his target. Oh, 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 Brooks Reed. I think I would want it reviewed to see if this isn't a lateral. Line scroll and eight point. Yeah, but Brooks Reed goes, we got the football, but man, he wanted that interception. And Paul Wolf, once again, here they have this, this great defensive effort. They're moving the football, and they should. Well, I think if anything, he's probably mad at Montgomery for not, as he turned, not finding his target. He just turned and threw the ball. He... Anthony leaps out. Scott's going to be dropped back at the 25-yard line. Tyree Toomer, his second sack tonight. Peacemaker in there. Third down and 20, low snap. Tool looks, throws deep down the middle, has a man. To the 20, 15, down to the 12 yard. A bad snap, sets in the pocket, steps up, and lets her go. And I'll tell you what, really well defended by Shaquille Richardson. Great job of coming down with that. 
These guys have fought hard tonight. They're coming up on the short end, but it isn't because of lack of effort. Angelin is just pummeled by Kafusi. You know, we were at practice on Thursday, and Bill Stevens, the SID, I said, I got to meet Kafusi. Yeah. Because watching him on tape, he's Man. just a richer freshman, but he's all over the place. Yeah, he makes plays. He's got suddenness. That's what I call it. Suddenness.